around the whole world In my hands, in my team By my side with the whole world In my plans, I'm a see What's up guys, Whitelag and HWD here with another video, and today we're going to be doing the All Archers Farming Guide. Now, this was requested a long time ago, and I did record all this stuff a very long time ago, as you will see from the replays, but finally got around to editing it and uploading it, so I hope you guys enjoy, learn a bunch, and uh, get a bunch of loot out of this, because this is probably my second favorite farming strategy, so let's get into it. Rule number one, take out unprotected buildings. Now, this is, and you'll see all these rules uh, implemented in the replays. So basically, if there's any buildings outside of the base that aren't guarded by anything, just put one archer down and uh, let that archer get the building out of the way so you have less to worry about when you put all your archers in. All right, number two, take out any mortars or wizard towers that will interfere with your raid. Now, this basically means if there's a mortar or a wizard tower in the way of getting the loot, you zap its ass. You just get it out of there because you want to maximize the loot gained from every raid, and you don't want no bitch-ass mortar telling you that you can't get any loot, all right? So you zap that. You zap that mofo and get him out of there. And, uh, yeah, so that'll help. Rule number three is put a solid line of archers around the entire base. Now, when I say solid, I mean you put enough archers so that it will destroy, you know, the, the line of archers will destroy everything that they need to, but you don't want it too thin so that they won't destroy anything. So you'll see this in a raid, or in a couple raids that I'm going to show after these rules. Um, and I, I usually use two fingers around the whole entire base. So I just make, basically make a circle around the whole entire base of archers. All right. And rule number four is don't worry about luring the heroes. You do not need to, you know, put in any special techniques and taking the heroes out. The archers will take the heroes out themselves. So um, don't worry about, you know, slowly luring the heroes out to, like, their maximum length and then taking – you don't need to do that. That's uh, that's not needed. So let's get into some replays. All right. Now with this base, as you can see, it's an abandoned base. And um, – what I'm going to start off by doing is taking out all the unprotected buildings. I'm just going to scatter some archers around the base on buildings that I think cannot be hit. And I'm just going to let them... Usually, you want to let your archers destroy those buildings before you initiate the attack. But um, I just started the attack right off the bat. I started from the top of the base. I usually start from the top of the base. And I just made two solid lines of uh, archers going around and just using two fingers. And um, yeah, I just, just basically let them do their thing. And if you look in closely here with the hero, with the queen... Just let them do their thing. Just let the archers take them out. You don't have to put anything, you know, any special maneuvers or tactics in it dealing with the heroes. If your archers can take out the heroes, then they'll take them out. If they can't, then, you know, so be it. So uh, this this raid was like less than a minute, and um, I got 300,000 gold, uh, 1,600 dark elixir, and, you know, 54%. So it's a very effective farming strategy. Even pushing, a lot of people use all archers. So And especially with the new level 7 archers coming out, I, I'm sure we're going to see it a lot more in pushing. So... Uh, and with this base, as you can see, there are no buildings on the outside that I can just easily pick off. So just start your attack. If, if there's no buildings that you can easily just pick off, just start the attack right away. And uh, there's an example of using a lightning spell. And um, I used the lightning spell to take out that wizard tower because that would have been in the way of my raid. Because there was a lot of loot on that top left side. And I wanted to, um, you know, attack that side heavier after my archers were done going around the base. And you'll see that in a minute. So uh, the archers are just going to basically clear up the stuff around the base. And um, I'm not sure if they get this, this. Yeah, they get the gold collector on the bottom. As you can see, the the king's kind of beating up on them, but um, they get the gold, so really no worries there. And uh, so then I'm gonna attack from this top left side because, as you can see, all the rest, almost all the rest of the dark elixir is there, plus the uh, plus a gold storage. So I put in my queen, and then I put in a dragon with some minions. And I probably should put the dragon in first, but you know it's whatever. And uh, the air bomb takes out all of my minions. So I use my queen's special ability. And um, I just kind of let the dragon and the queen go to work. Dragon doesn't get too far into the base, but the queen does get a good amount of uh, dark elixir. I got, I got both of those pumps and the gold. And I used that, or those other two lightning spells, I think on the gold storages. I don't know where I, where I placed them. But um, there's another example of an all-archer attack. Again, this is just, it's a really, really efficient, easy to train, easy to use strategy. And you can use it for tunnel 8s and 10s, or 8s through 10s, 8, 9, and 10s. So now with this base, and as you can see, most of these bases, well, pretty much all these bases I'm raiding, are um, either abandoned or they just have a lot of loot in the collectors. Now, you find a lot of these bases up in Crystal 1. Well, at least last time I was there farming with all archers, I found tons of these bases. I was farming a lot a lot of gold because uh, I needed them for walls. But now, you know, once this update comes out, which I think it's going to come out tonight, pretty sure it should. I was going to be mad. But, uh, you know, it's really, really good for farming up gold and elixir because this is like a really, really cheap army. 
and um, it's you know it's easy to train. You just fill your barracks with with archers. You don't need to worry about putting a certain amount of barbs and archers and wall breakers or goblins and shit. You just you just fill every barracks up with archers. Don't gotta worry about using dark elixir. And um, usually I will boost my spell factory, but that's just me. You don't have to. Um, it just it just makes it easier to raid because you have more lightning spells, so you can take out more defenses. Or if you miss a dark elixir pump or something, you can grab that. But um, yeah, overall, it's just it's a great strategy to use. Uh, personally, this is this is my lazy farming strategy. I'll usually farm with loons up in masters or champ, which I'm gonna do from now on probably. But um, when I feel just feel like lazy farming, I'll use all archers. So again, just swarming the base with archers. I just use two lines around the whole entire base. If this is harder to do on an iPhone, I usually all these raids are happening on my iPad, but I recorded them on my iPhone. But um, on an iPad, it's really really easy. On an iPhone, not so much, but definitely still doable. Um, and you can do one line going around the whole entire base. I do that too. It's just whatever your personal preference is and however, you know, what whatever's easier to raid for you works. But, you know, you can just do two lines around the base with two fingers or just go around the base in a big circle with one finger. Either way, uh, the archers should do the same amount of damage and get, get some work done and get some loot in your storages. And especially after this update, you're going to need all the loot you can, get, you can get. That was not English what I just said there. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't English. But I'm going to finish off this raid getting another 200,000. These are basically just average raids. This is nothing super spectacular or special, but... Um, yeah, so now we're just going to go back to my base, again, showing you how long ago this was. I'm in, I'm at 3,600 cups right now, um, so this was a while ago, and this was back when I had my old base. But uh, just going to spend this gold that I acquired, and I would spend the elixir on walls, but this update was not even announced at the time that I recorded this. It wasn't even thunk of at the time I recorded this, but, well, recorded the video, not the voice. I'm recording the voice today, the 15th of September, right? It's the 15th? Yeah, the 15th, but. So yeah, I guess that is going to be it. Uh, again, just 220 archers, four lightning spells. I usually keep minions in my clan castle just because uh, they, you know, fly over the walls and just makes it easier to clean up stuff that the archers didn't get. Because the archers will usually take everything out on the along the outside of the base, but sometimes they'll miss stuff on the inside, which is why I like minions because they can just fly over. And then uh, king and queen. I mean, you don't you don't need them for this strategy. I, I apologize for that lag, by the way. But you don't need them for this strategy. But uh, they're obviously helpful. You know, the heroes are helpful for any strategy, but uh, not necessarily needed for. Uh, all archers, but very helpful. So yeah, that's really the end of the video and the end of the strategy guide. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to them. Uh, again, you can use this for Town Hall 8 with level 5 troops, and you can use it for Town Hall 9, obviously, and Town Hall 10. Town Hall 10 is going to wreck with the level 7 troops. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have more YouTube All-Stars stuff, uh, more pushing videos and whatnot coming soon. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed and learned a little bit or are going to use a strategy, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at WhiteLightingHWD. That's it for today, guys. I love you. Peace. What's up, guys? WhiteLightingHWD here in another video. And today we're going to be doing the much anticipated All Archers Farming Guide. Now, I said I'd be doing this a long time ago. And as you'll see from the replays, it was a very long time ago that I recorded all this stuff. But um, finally, I'm going to be able to. Uh, upload this so uh, let's get into it okay that was just that was shit that was shit stutter make stutter nuts right there shit what's up everybody alright that's not gonna be used that's no okay take two oi fucking video right no oh, nope sometimes in the midst of recording a video I get bored of recording the video and I decide to make noises into the mic and record it to amuse myself, kind of like this, kind of, you know, along the lines of that, and um, I guess this is what this blooper section is for, I don't know if you guys are enjoying the blooper section, but I think I'm going to start doing that from now on if you guys are cool with that, because, I don't know, I think I might work it into my outro if, I, if I'm clever enough to figure out how to do that, but I think this is going to be my outro, just bloopers at the end of the video with like links and fun shit so uh, I hope you guys are are okay with that me using the bloopers cause I think I'm gonna start doing that in every video so uh yeah, I'll see you guys next time <laughs> All the pretty girls in class still They never reply but never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill gets better in time Fresher than ever and I am who I am No taking it back, I'm alive and well Well, what I do, my name is unimportant But what I say is quite amazing I hope you enjoy it I put my soul into this shit every time I'm recording